I am Anil Kumar and now let us further explore secondary trigonometric ratios. Question is solve to the nearest tenth cotangent theta equals to minus 0 0.9 where theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. Right. So, so we are looking for the value of theta so that we get a negative answer. Now when you apply the cost rule which is kind of like this we know cotangent is the reciprocal of tan since we are expecting a negative answer the solution should lie in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 4 since cotangent will be positive in these two quadrants right it is negative in these two perfect so we are looking for two solutions right now the question is how do you get two solutions so the method is first we have already found that we are looking for two solutions we need to find the acute angle right so at times we say this angle to be uh, the angle which we find by dropping this sign and just calculate. Let's say the acute angle is beta for us. And we will change the equation. Instead of cot theta equals to minus 0 0.9, we will solve for cot of beta equals to 0 0.9. You see, I have dropped the sign. I am looking for the acute angle. Acute angle is less than 90 degrees. It has to be positive, right? Okay. So, now we know cot of beta. So, we are looking for some angle, which let us say here, right? And this angle is beta for us. This is not the solution, right? We are looking for a negative value. That means the solution will be, will actually be either in quadrant 2 or in 4, right? Only then we get a negative value. Perfect. But important thing here is that the acute angle will be same will be beta do you see that and that helps us to find the answer so the answer for us will be one is this that is to say one theta will be equals to 180 degrees minus beta the other angle will be theta 2 which will be that much 360 degrees minus beta so that is the kind of strategy. I hope that is absolutely clear, right? Now let's get back to the problem. Cotangent of beta is 0 0.9, but how to find beta? Oh, we don't have cotangent in our calculator. We have sine, cosine, and tan. So we have to write cot as tan, right? So 1 over tan. So we'll write 1 over tan beta equals to 0 0.9, or we can say tan beta equals to 1 over 0 0.9 and then beta is equals to tan inverse of 1 over 0 0.9 right so we can find this angle using the calculator so we have shift tan inverse within bracket 1 divided by 0 0.9 bracket close equal to 48.01 perfect so we have to round to tenth that means we can round this answer to 48.0 degrees. Okay, so that is the answer for beta. Now let us find what theta is. Right. So we now we need to find what theta is. We found the angle, right? So we know beta, the acute angle is 48.0 degrees. Now we need to find what theta is. As we have seen here, theta could have two values, right? So one value of theta is 180 degrees minus the acute angle 48.0 degrees. The other one is 180, I mean, sorry, 360 degrees minus 48.0 degrees. Since in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4, we are expecting a negative answer. We are looking for a negative answer. Do you get the point? So we can now find and write down our answer that cot of theta equals to 0 0.9 with a negative sign means theta is equals to use the calculator for 180 minus 48 equals to 132.0 degrees or we'll do 360 degrees minus 48 equals to 312 
write with one decimal place since we need to write to the nearest tenth okay that is very important right so so these are the two answers for which cotangent of theta will be minus 0 0.9 you get the answer right so that is how we should be solving this question so whenever you are working with secondary trigonometric ratios remember first step is what for you first step is write them in terms of primary trigonometric so first step is write in terms of primary trigonometric ratio right that is first thing right write in terms of primary trigonometric ratios second step is find reference acute angle normally I use beta for that okay once you've done that then you write then you write or find principal angle which is which is solution is it okay at times you may have more than one solution so include all the solutions in your answer so that is how you should be solving such questions I hope that helps Thank you.